In this video, we're going to look at five different sets, or at least five sets, and we're going to see which of them are equal to each other. Now, first of all, we have set A, which is the set of elements 0, 1, and 2. So there's only three elements in that set. Now let's take a look at set B. This is expressed in set builder notation, and it says the set of all x element of the real numbers such that negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. So I'm going to move this all over a little bit, make some room. So what do we mean by this? We mean x can be any real number. Now keep in mind that the real numbers, um, there's an infinite number of real numbers between any two real numbers. So when we go from negative 1, and we're including that, oops, let's do this. I include the negative 1, and I'm including negative 1, negative 0.99999, and so on, and I'm including every real number all the way up to 3, but not including the 3 in this particular problem. So there are all kinds of decimals and things that are not in set A. So definitely A and B are not equal to each other. Now let's like take a look at set C. Is this equal to one of the others? Well, again, x can be a real number. And in this case, x is not equal to negative 1 or 3, but those are the endpoints. So we're not including the negative one, we're not including the three. Are B and C equal to each other? No, because B has one more element than C, even though um, they both have an infinite number, but um, in one sense, uh, B has one more, and so they are not equal to each other. There's an element in B that is not in C, and that's what tells me that they're not equal. Now, set D. Set D is the set of um, values of x that are integers. And so we see this symbol Z, and that's the symbol for the set of integers, just like R is the symbol for the set of real numbers. Now, you've probably seen the set R before, maybe, maybe not, but the symbol for the set of integers is a little less common. So we're saying here x is an integer and x is between negative 1 and 3. So I'm going to write the elements of this set, and I can list them in roster notation because there's a finite number of them. We're not including the negative 1, so we start at 0, 1, and 2, and we stop there because the 3 is not included. Now this is equal to set A. So there you go, A and D are equal to each other. At first it looks like set E is also the same thing, except there's a plus sign up here, which means that X is an element of the positive integers. And keep in mind that zero is not a positive integer. It's not negative either. It doesn't fall into either category. So we just have one and two, and so that's not equal to any of the other any of the other sets. So the only two sets that are actually equal to each other are A and D. And that's the end of that problem.